Okay. <laughs> Bye. That was KTLA News. They're calling me back. <laughs> And somewhere between fate and luck, she's alive and talking. I was home writing that day, and my best friend like, saved my life. She called me out of the blue to go out, and I was like, no, i got to stay home and write. And, well, we have to see a movie if we go out. And I did, and the movie um, saved my life. Well, I was just shooting a three, you know, because I have my game. And I shot it, and I saw a plane going down. And it was like, damn. The plane went exactly where we tan. So if it was a sunny day, we would have gotten together to tan exactly where it goes in. Single-engine plane nosedived into the building, crashing through all three floors and igniting a massive fire. 100 gallons of aviation fuel bursting into flames. OK, so because it was cloudy, we went to the movies instead. Now, we asked Sarah Madison, by the way, what was the name of that movie that you went to go see? She said it's called Whale Rider. We said we've never even heard of that movie before. She said, does it really matter as far as she's concerned? It's it was a good movie, but now it's a really good, good movie. What I heard... Stay. Stay. Fuzzy. Fuzzy. ...identified the pilot as Jeffrey Siegel, the owner of a Santa Monica construction firm. He had no insurance, no radar certificate. His wife called Siegel a very skilled pilot who had been flying planes since he was a teenager. If there was three passengers with him, which would make the fourth one, or they don't know if... If Reese had a guess. There were four people on the aircraft, one person on the ground killed. Well, the victims haven't been officially identified. So I'm like, I'm still just laughing on the outside, but I'm freaking out. I'm like, he's, he wears a little fedora, his name is Reese. This is, um, this has got to be Reese's. Oh, that's Reese's. Reese's. Oh, my You know what, give it to me. Please take it. And it's like, I have, I have a mezuzah on my door because everyone in my building at some point has been Jewish, and so I just kept it there because... Cares. I'm like, yeah, I can use all the prayers I can get. He walked by one day, you know, I got the mezuzah and whatever. He's like, he's all like, I do it. All I hear is, are you Jewish? <laughs> this is physically all that is left. A plastic bag and a couple of charred childhood diaries is all Sarah Madison salvaged from her second floor unit. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm right there. No, I'm sorry that uh, I don't really have uh, more for you, but my books in your bag. considering, uh, you know, the way your apartment is. I don't, I don't know if or when you're going to be able to like go through that area because it's, yeah. it's unstable, so they may not even... I mean, of my belongings is really... Back in there, but that whole area is, is just charred and you've got debris from the roof. The second floor, everything has just come down. Uh -huh. There's a plane went through there. So that's not real. Right. Conducive to, uh, you know, things surviving. <laughs> but just physically, like, everything I own is ash. Just look at it as, uh, you know, you lucky you weren't there. I, yeah. Because if you were there, you would still be here. Yeah. Yeah. Fine, thank you very much. It's good to actually call somebody and give them some good news. It's really cute. We were expecting some, you know, frenchy guy and we're like, Hi. Yeah, because the first guy came out was scary. Hi, he's like, Paul. can I help you? Yeah, oh, he's so cute. Yeah. Why don't you call him up and tell him there's like a page missing from one of your diaries? Or <laughs> For some, like Sarah Madison, there wasn't much left. Only the things in this tiny plastic bag. Where do you live? Where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have what I cut from the corner. We'll never find a, a place that will take four people two kids at the bread we're like oh my gosh what do we do okay well you have to come to me okay i have to go to that those two guys on the corner talking to steve what are you guys up to what are you guys up to? I'm just making a little home movie kind of oh. for her, this whole wild experience. What do you, do you guys want to introduce yourselves? No, not really. For her, the home movie? No. No, okay. Those are the buffers between the insurance company mm -hmm. that doesn't want to pay anything. Right. No. Would you get him out of here? None of them want to be filmed. Let's we'll just get in there. Uh, no, 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 you're a damn liar. You're no, the police would have to. We can't do that. They, uh, the media has full access. Not to us, they don't. Well, <laughs> stay here. No, I'm going to talk to the police. What? 
Uh, Juan Carlos wants to give you his Maybe. laptop I got it. as a gift. Yeah, I mean, they felt like he they had the old one. just here, and I think. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Uh, he, he said, when you come to the, the stations that you know aren't supposed to be there, to just go ahead. <laughs> And if you need a bed, we have a please bed. When I buy, I know it's a bad practice, but when I buy an apartment, I will take anything I can get. Oh, you have a choice right now. Okay. You can stay in Elvin's. He'll be won't be back till the end of the month. Okay. Mm -hmm. And or Marguerite's. Okay. She's well, going away also. That's so sweet. Did you go to the Red Cross? Because they'll they'll give you money for food. They'll give you, they'll give you money for clothes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, and tell them you it's have not a lot. Bed, so yeah. Yeah. You're not going to retire. You know. I got a do over. You know, I was just saying, like, right. I want to start over and I get to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he said Mark was five and a half. Right. 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 Right.